And what's up my friends, welcome back to your channel. Thank you so much for tuning in all the time. I'm Michael Martinez and you're watching MC Viral. Alright, so for today's video, we'll be answering your questions from the previous Instagram story, post, question, poll. So yeah, <laughs> I'll do my best to answer all of them. And uh, yeah, just let me know in the, down in the comments and please stay tuned for more. Yeah. Alright, so the, for the first question, um, how do you stay sexy, hot, appealing, and everything that we love? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I know. Uh, do. No, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. How do you keep yourself motivated? Um, definitely for me, uh, there's a lot of things that keeps me motivated and 100%. Uh, what really works for me is just, you know, rewatching some of my videos, what I need to do better. Those kind of things already makes me already motivated to do better next time and to work harder and makes me want to, you know, improve so much, so much more on what I need to do. And honestly, I'm just really, really afraid of making the same mistakes that I did before and I just don't want that to happen or at least I told myself or promised myself that I'm not gonna let that happen again or at least make lesser mistakes in life and that's what keeps me motivated more and you really have to surround yourself with good people, positive people and I know it's gonna be difficult to really look for them, look for the people, the right people, look for the, the people that, that is gonna be there for you, it's really difficult but you know it will take time and with that said, you're always gonna be motivated no matter what. There's honestly a lot of ways for you to be able to do that or to keep yourself motivated, but these are just the things that I usually do. I mean, there's so much, so much more, but yeah, personally, this is these are the things that I do. So, yeah. What makes you decide to go back in ice skating? Um, there's a lot of reasons why I wanna go back. And honestly, I've been wanting to be back on the ice, but uh, the main reasons for me before, you know, I did my very best. I know I did my, be my best from the previous seasons, previous competitions that I did. Um, but I definitely, you know, I definitely wanted to do more this time. And I felt like it's unfinished. And on, in all honesty, I just wanted to take a break from everything. Not just in skating, honestly. I just wanted to take a break from like social media. That's why you guys didn't see me posting on YouTube, on social media at all. Because I just want to take a break and really find myself i think we at some point in, in in our life we actually need also to really look for our own voice our own life or our or our own self you know and to be able to move forward and with that said i was able to find myself what i really want to do what i really want to pursue and basically finish so yeah <laughs> It's exactly five years ago when I first saw you at your meet and greet in Mega Mall. Still the best day of my life. Damn. <laughs> you are very, very sweet. I know it's been a long, long time since we were able to do the meet and greets and stuff. And it's been, like I, guess, like I said, it's been a long time. And I definitely miss those times. And hopefully soon we'll be able to do that. And uh, yeah, we'll give, keep you guys updated. So why did you choose to live or study in the US? Well, honestly guys, I'm training in the US before and you have to follow your codes. You have to follow your team. So basically you kind of have to stay there in all honesty. So that's the main reason why I had to stay or be based in Los Angeles that time. And like now, the situation that we are in now, um, I'm currently in uh, Perm, Russia. <laughs> I'm in Russia, so I'm not sure how long I'll be here, probably months because my coach wants me to like look for an apartment here, so I'm not sure where I'll be going or staying. <laughs> um, what's like my favorite number on a electric fan? <laughs> uh, depends on mood, depends on mood. <laughs> it depends on the mood, um, you know, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Lely, I just realized that seeing this question from you made me realize it actually, it, it's been a long time since I actually made this question, Paul. But here we go. Since you're currently in Spain, not anymore, uh, 
Are you planning to take lessons with Javier Fernandez? Actually, he is amazing and um, in all honesty, I'm really, really surprised and thankful for him for making it possible for me to be able to skate in Spain during my small rest couple of days. Um, but yeah, he really helped me out on being able to train on the ice privately. No, sometimes I was just skating by myself. Really amazing. Thank you, thank you so much, Javier Fernandez. Um, we were supposed to meet up, but unfortunately he was still busy doing, still doing the camp in France, I think or I'm not sure where exactly I think friends or yeah I'm not sure anyways so yeah unfortunately he was very busy so we're, we weren't able to meet up but uh, definitely hopefully next time soon <laughs> how old are you so I'm 24 and the only reason why I'm actually able to remember my age <laughs> is because of a lot of people are asking asking me recently how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? So that's the only reason why I'm able to remember. But before that, I was starting to forget how old I am. And I'm starting to forget my birthday. <laughs> the only time I would remember my birthday uh, when someone posts about it. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's actually your birthday? What? <laughs> am I the only one starting to forget? What is your goal this year? So 100% to qualify at the 20... 2014. <laughs> what is your goal this year? Definitely to be able to qualify at the 2022 Winter Olympics Beijing. Um, very, very excited and hopefully it will be possible for us to be able to compete and represent the country. Um, the, to be able to land a quad as soon as possible. <laughs> That's the main goal for this year. I'm able to do a couple of quad loops and toes, but mainly loop. I was able to do, it's still under rotated like the last time, but I, me and my coach actually definitely feel that we'll be, we'll be able to do a couple of quads and uh, very soon, so that's the goal. I'm always curious about what the figure skaters think before and after difficult jumps. So 100% what we, or at least what I do before going through a jump is just basically going through, you know, the techniques, what I need to do, where my hands are, where, what is the position of my, my shoulders, hips, and then the edge, and then that's it. You basically just need to focus on the speed as well. And with that, it's just, I mean, there is a lot, <laughs> but you just have to think of that in just a few seconds, you know? But we just got used to it, and yeah, you just have to think all of that, and then you jump, and then when you land, you just land, you just like have to basically just sell the landing, and um, move on. That's it, I guess. Move on. GG. I also want to experience how to skate on ice, but how hard to be a professional ice skater. In all honesty, it's very, very easy for you to be able to start skating you just have to be confident you have to be uh how do i say it is very easy to start learning the basics of 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 uh, ice skating and you just have to really drop that kind of idea that it's scary i can't do this you just have to drop all that negativity to drop all that negativity and with that said you'll be able to actually learn the basics next thing you know a few weeks or a week after you'll be able to glide actually in a few days probably or a day you'll be able to glide properly with if you just have to drop that negativity because i've taught a lot of students skaters and stuff and beginners and new skaters and sometimes i would skate with other you know church members and the first time you know it's their first time to skate and they're be able to glide because they're not afraid so you just have to believe in yourself you'll be able to do it what is your most favorite jump will definitely is loop and axe honestly loop will be my favorite jump because you just have to it, it just it just flows <laughs> what's up my friends what's up my friends <laughs> And what's up my friends? Wait, now I'm confused how to say it. <laughs> when tayo, when tayo miss your streams, better competitions. Muna, 100% competitions will be first. And uh, yeah, I would love to, you know, do the streams here and there. But unfortunately, there's no, we always have a bad internet. GG. And it all really follows me anywhere I go. So <laughs> unfortunately, I won't be able to do it as uh, hopefully probably after everything so yeah hi Kuya how did figure skating help you to become who you are now um honestly figure skating helped me a lot in life and to be able to just meet a lot a lot of different people a lot of different cultures here and there and to be able to train with different skaters and different environments different countries to be able to compete you 
from all of that, you get to learn a lot of things and, and in and out of the ice, you know, there's so much, so much things. I don't know how to answer this question, but there is just a lot. And I don't know which one to pick and say, but definitely a lot. Um, and I'm very, very thankful for it. That's why I'm still skating. Yeah. <laughs> What will you tell your 17, 18 years old, a year old self uh, about your decisions in life and your future? Um, I mean, I guess definitely, I just want to say like keep going, keep fighting and really listen to your own voice, listen to your guts, you know? Because a lot of the times I wasn't listening on my own guts and I end up, you know, making a lot of mistakes in my life, listening to a lot of people when instead I should just take what I need to take from what I hear and decide on my own what is the best and go from there. All right guys, so that is it for today. Hope you guys like this video. So make sure to hit the like and subscribe to the team MZ Viral and GVMZ. And of course, don't forget to check out our previous videos here or here, I'm not sure where. <laughs> um, check out our gaming video or gaming channel as well. We just, just recently posted a brand new video there as well. And we'll be posting more and more on both channels. So stay tuned, guys. And uh, please make sure to turn on the notification. And um, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs>